Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Daria. Today I wanted to give you a February faves video and if you're thinking February is not over yet, yeah I know but it's more like a January slash February slash New Year type of faves because I feel like I've accumulated quite a bit of favorite things and it would be a good time for me to start doing these videos. I haven't done one so far so I'm still trying to figure out kind of what kind of products I want to talk about but for now it's fashion beauty miscellaneous things and I'm not gonna ramble hopefully I say that every single video and you guys know that I end up with 30 minute videos of me rambling so um, I'm gonna try to shut up but be <laughs> shut up but be concise and yeah okay fashion I have been in my workout girl grind since January I don't know I just have so much more energy recently and I've been working out like four or five times a week and I don't really post that I do it but like I want to start posting because I want to go to Pilates classes and like me rambling I want to go to more classes and I feel like that's what I'm going to post but I feel like having a cute workout set is always motivating I guess so I recently got this one from Aloe I saw it on I don't remember I think it was Kelsey Merritt but I could be wrong she had this on Insta and then Kylie Jenner wore this and then obviously it sold out so I had to wait a good month before I got this but yeah this is my first I guess pieces from Aloe and they did not disappoint I know they're like a bit pricey I would have to admit myself that I was crying a little bit when I bought these in New York but I think they're totally worth it I think this is just very flattering and yeah workout set i also love lululemon but those are like og faves so i figured i'd give you a new fave because i've talked about lululemon for quite a bit on my channel already next thing pj sets i love don't get me wrong i also sleep in like oversized baggy tees and like look ratchet <laughs> to say to say it nicely but pj sets just make me feel so cute and put together and Brandy Melville has my favorite ones. These ones, this is just one of my faves. And Victoria's Secret also has more like long sleeve ones, which is good for the winter. But yeah, Brandy Melville PJ sets or PJ sets in general. I feel like if you're not a PJ girl set girly, you can totally become one as soon as you buy one and you see how good and cute you feel in it. So yeah, Brandy Melville PJ sets next one is this i saw this on a youtuber and i can't remember for the life in me who it was but it's this zara cardigan it has it's not buttons it's these little clips so you can kind of see a bit in the middle when it opens up and it's flared just like the one i'm wearing right now that you totally can't see but it's very similar vibes and apparently there's a matching skirt because I saw it on someone on TikTok, but I cannot find the skirt for the life of me, not even online. So it's probably the skirt at least is sold out. I don't know if this is sold out, but I saw this in store and I wore it for fashion week and it was like one of my favorite pieces. And I just think it's so flattering when a cardigan goes in and then you can put a little belt. I literally have a belt to show you after. Cardigans that have a bit of shape, I think, are definitely some of my faves and then i love a mini skirt but i feel like they're not mini mini skirts that i normally find in stores i feel like i just have a short torso and like it just doesn't look like that mini on me it looks kind of high-waisted but this one from zara is actually a mini mini skirt so this is a obviously fake leather leather skirt um it has a buckle and i just it's technically a score but I just I also wore this in New York and I just it's so light and beautiful it makes your legs look so long I feel like that's always key if you want to look taller because I'm not that tall I'm five not that tall I'm not tall period I'm five six so um anything that makes my legs look taller I always gravitate towards especially these since it's so short Obviously, some people might not be comfortable with how short it is, but I personally feel like even with tights, it's a great look. And then last thing for fashion, 
this faux fur coat from Zara. I literally feel like I've worn me I wear this like four times a week now. It's it just keeps me so warm because it's still very cold. I live in Montreal, Canada, so the weather's been pretty rough. But this it's dark gray, and I mean I bought it in Brussels, so um, not sure that they still have it. Actually, no. I was gonna buy. I bought it here. I was gonna buy it in Brussels. Never mind. Um, yeah, I think obviously mob wife aesthetic <laughs> is slash already was a thing that's not really why this is my fave i just think it elevates your outfit even if you're wearing like a tee and jeans and you throw this on you just look way more chic and it keeps you warm so that's why it's one of my faves if it's cute and warm we love it also honorable mention to my Arisa super puff i was gonna include in this video because i feel like Everyone and their mother already owns this or plans on buying it or has heard of it and doesn't want it. So that's also a favorite. I think it really does keep you warm. But I wasn't going to include it. Um, okay, let's move on to skincare. My skin has been really rough for um, literally 10 years. So I have tried every product under the sun. My skin is still not good. It used to be and now it's like going through a rough patch again. So I'm trying everything I can to get it to be good again. And these products I feel like have helped me the most. So first off, I'd say this is more of like a company thing. Anything from Kodali. This is the Skin Perfecting Serum. And then this is the Instant Firming Serum. And their whole lines, because each of these products come with their whole line. Um, honestly, or just the whole brand in general, to be honest with you, I work with them. That's not why they're in this video. I just genuinely think Kodali products are so, so, so good. Um, they're pretty affordable from what I know. I mean, okay, asterisk on that. It's not necessarily the most affordable products, but I'd say for how good they are, they're definitely a, at a good price point and yeah i just think they do exactly what they say they do so kudali products could recommend them through and through again and i'd say for more uh, rough products i don't know how to say it. um this one's the bha liquid exfoliant from polish choice i feel like everyone has talked about this the reason i said rough products is because this is obviously a lot for your skin if you have really sensitive skin like I do it really dried me out at first but I started building I guess a tolerance to it so I started with like once a week then you kind of build it up and now I alternate it with um, like every other day I, I didn't even bring it but my ordinary retinol put it right here uh, I just it's my favorite retinol product and it's so affordable that one's literally I think like ten dollars so the retinol in this every other day and I feel like it's a good balance if you have really sensitive skin and they do, like I said, like the other products, exactly what they say they do. So definitely recommend this and the retinol. And then the last one, I have this barrier bioactive treatment from You Beauty. Anything from You Beauty, I love I've been working with them for a few months and every time they send me products, I literally get so excited because I just love everything they've ever sent me. This is definitely more expensive. Um, I'd say it's more expensive than Kodali for sure, but I just love this product and any other product they've sent me, but this one specifically because I don't really have any other, you know, barrier protector or like you know what I'm talking about, um, products, so this one does the job, and they also have lip products, kind of like the road or the summer Friday peptide treatment lip products, they have their own, and You Beauty is just doing it, but yeah, You Beauty was the last one for skincare, I think, okay, now let's do makeup, I'm not a makeup girly, to be honest. I feel like I say that every single video, but for real, I'm not a makeup girly. I just try my best to stick to my routine and do whatever works for me. So these products are very basic, but they generally do work. So the first one is the Refi 
primer. I just love the applicator on this. It's just so easy. You, you squeeze it out and then there's just a roller and you just put it on your face. I just feel like it has the perfect consistency. It's not like sticky or like it, does, it meshes well with your makeup and it actually holds it on for a really long time. So Refi. I definitely want to try on more, try out one more of their products, but so far I just have the primer and I think it's one of my favorites. And then anything Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I know a lot of people love the Hollywood filter one. Um, I just feel like that one doesn't have a lot of coverage. Or from what I've seen, I haven't really like used it, used it. And I need the coverage. So this one's perfect for me. But honestly, I have their contour stick. I have a bunch of other products on them. And Charlotte Tilbury is just, they just know what they're doing. So yeah. And then next one is this blush from Rare Beauty. This is the Encourage blush. This is so pigmented, you guys. I can literally put a dot on my face and it's just it's just blush. And then obviously you like buff it out and then it just looks natural. But when you first put it on, the first time I put it on, I was like, whoa, this is not, this is not kidding. This is really pigmented. But yeah, Rare Beauty, I haven't tried on too much of their stuff yet. Also, definitely plan on doing that. But their blush is really good. I highly recommend. And then last one for makeup is this YSL lip. It, it looks like a lipstick, but it's not a matte one. I, that's what I love about this. It's, it's pretty shiny and it kind of looks like lip balm that's pigmented, which I really love. It's really natural. Um, it's the sheer candy. I'm not sure what shade to be on it, but YSL Beauty. And I go way back. I've been getting YSL makeup for Christmas since I was 14, which was nine years um, in the making. So anything YSL Beauty, I feel like I've always loved. And I actually think they do a great job at doing whatever it is they claim to be doing. So yeah, that's for makeup. Next is perfume, sticking on the YSL one bandwagon. This one, this is the YSL Libre Intense. I got it like a month and a half ago on my trip. And it's just, it's just like sexy. It's just a sexy perfume and it's a little spicy and it's just hitting everything it needs to hit. This is more of a night perfume for me. I haven't worn it during the day. Well, I mean, I've barely worn it, period, but I've, uh, I really do love this perfume and I feel like it's perfect for going out or like a nighttime or like a date night or whatever it is you want to do. It's perfect for that. And then during the day, <laughs> the reason I'm laughing is because this is a Zara perfume. It's called Queen Plum Rose and I've never gotten as many compliments on the way I smell as I have when I've worn this and that's so funny to me because this was literally in the sale during the Christmas sale. It was $20. It's very floral and light and just I love it for every day. Obviously I put on a bit more than I would with like the YSL because I just want to make sure it stays on but I feel like it genuinely does even if you're not like drowning yourself in it. I don't know why, but Zara perfumes are really good. This is like the second or third one that I have. But the other two, I feel like I just like them in all my This, I love. And clearly other people love as well, because I'm, I'm telling you, I've never gotten as many compliments on me smelling good as I have when I've worn this, which is just so funny to me, because you're spending all this money on all the other perfumes, and then the $20 one is the one that's, coming through for you a humbling moment but yeah so her perfumes I definitely recommend checking out if you never have because they're clearly they're clearly good <laughs> um next I guess it's kind of random but not really I'm a very pale girly and I'm not the kind of pale girly that looks good when she's pale I look like I'm sick so self tanner has been something that I've been using for a few years and I've tried some other ones, but they're just like not as good. But my favorite one is the Nuda Candle one. This is the Ultra Dark. There's just something about the self tanner It doesn't come off orange. And you know what I also love? It smells so good. It literally smells like coffee in a way. Like I just, 
I feel like there's a lot of self tanners that just don't smell good so you don't really want them but this I swear to you like three days later I can go like this and I still smell how good this smells so yeah new to Canada this is the ultra dark they also have a dark and I have I think we have the light one but yeah ultra dark and then I don't like to self tan my face because I'm scared that it might cause me to break out and I am not about that life because my skin is rough like I said um so they have a face tan water and it literally just looks like literally water but when you let it sit on your face it it genuinely makes you look like you're tan so these balance out perfectly and then you look evenly tan which is always the goal obviously um but yeah new to Canada self tanner and face tan water and honestly they have a bunch more products that I love but for this category they have to be my faves okay let's move to accessories the first ones are these celine sunglasses they have a straight let me not ruin my makeup they have a straight cut and i just feel like they look so cool i feel like i can dress these up or down i've worn these at night i'm wearing these with jeans and a t-shirt and they just go give like cool kid vibes or at least in my head they give those vibes <laughs> um yeah celine sunglasses i'll put the links to what i'm talking about below because i honestly don't know what these are called but i will find them for you and i will link them below but yeah i i need to get new sunglasses but for now these ones are the faves i also have the prada ones that are a bit anyways these ones are my favorite ones no rambling in this video then i have the belt that I was talking about earlier it's the YSL one I got it in Brussels two months ago it's the thin one they have a thick one but I wanted this one because I feel like it works not only with jeans but also with dresses and skirts and I even put this um, on top of my cardigan for fashion week and it just cinches you in and, but it still looks very dainty and it's not like oh i'm wearing a belt it's not flashy you know i mean it has the logo but it's not a flashy belt regardless but yeah i just i just love this it's a belt but it's a good belt so yeah why i sell belt this is kind of random but this is i feel like i've talked about this multiple times on my channel already even though it's random this louis vuitton wallet I guess it's a key slash card holder because it has this to tie it, um, I mean, I guess to attach it to other things. But yeah, I, this is my wallet. I'm not a big wallet type of person. So this holds my cards at the moment. I have some cash in there. I have some coins and this goes everywhere with me. It's my most used designer purchase and probably one of my top three, to be honest. The fact that this has this clip, I even clip this to my jeans and like put it in my wallet could, um, when I don't want to bring a bag. And it's just so convenient. Or I just hold it like this. I just love how practical this is. And yeah, I'd say any card holder that has this is what you should be aiming for. Because if it was just a card holder, then I'd have to, you know, hold it like this or whatever. Clip it to my pants and have a good day <laughs> i forget what it's called again but i'll link it below um one of my favorite purchases of life not just january february so yeah like i said kind of random but i had to include this again and then i have jewelry um this ring from apm monaco it's a three tone ring so it has the gold the rose gold and the silver and then it has this i guess paper clip kind of um kind of what am i saying a paper clip <laughs> it looks like a paper clip but it's obviously not i think it's cute it's definitely not like a casual ring i'm not just wearing this on a daily basis although sometimes i do that to like spice up an outfit but yeah, I love that it's three tones, so I don't have to really like worry about mixing metals anywhere else. I think it's the perfect amount of bulky. I like having bulkier rings. 
this one's also really nice from Monica Vinader. Normally, I wear my Gucci ring on this one, which is also one of my favorites ever, but I've talked about it so many times that you guys know I love that ring. So, thought I'd include this one, but yeah, I just love that it's three-toned, and I guess it's a little flashy, but not anything too crazy. And then these ones, my little trusty Amazon earrings. I know they look like the Bottega ones, clearly not Bottega. I wouldn't spend that much money on earrings because I'm scared of losing them and if they go out of style, which I wear things after they go out of style, so like that's not really a concern of mine, but um, if they do, Amazon. I've also gotten so many compliments on these. I'll link these guys for you below. But yeah, I just think they look very elegant, very chic. And I love them. Okay, miscellaneous things. Uh, actually, I can start with the camera I'm filming on. The Canon G7X is not only a favorite this month, it's a favorite every month. The flash photos are 10 on 10, and then I just love how easy and small it is to vlog with it. And just to film videos, I'm filming on it right now so I can't show it to you, but you guys know what it looks like. The Canon G7X is my ride or die camera for now. So, yeah. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about is books. I have phases where I read like five books a month and I'm always just reading and I love reading whatever. And then I don't read for like three months. So I'm in a reading phase now and I just finished Rich Dad Poor Dad, which I loved. I just love this. I feel like a lot of people have recommended this and I just... I think it's a good book. I'm not really into fiction books at the moment, so the next one is also not. It's like a self-help type of book. It's the 101 essays that will change the way you think. I read like one a day, so because I feel like if you read too many of these, you don't really get the point of them, so I space them out. But this one I read, and I think it's really good. There's also Atomic Habits, and yeah, I feel like these ones at the moment are really what are getting me back into reading. Um, I kind of want to start talking more about the books that I read because I feel like I've got, even these ones, I've got them through recommendations from other people. So if I could help anyone out of a reading funk, I would love that. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all. I think it's only been 30 minutes. Um, but you know what? I feel like I haven't rambled as much as I usually do. So bonus points for that. And yeah, I want to thank you for watching. I think next week's video is going to be a fashion related one. And then the one after is going to be trip prep and then Jamaica vlog. So stay tuned for those. But I wanted to thank you for watching today. And let me know if you have any faves that you want to share with me. Or any products that you think would be, I guess, better than the ones I have. Or any video suggestions that you have for me. I would love to hear it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.